Hey folks, uh, this is Dan Tavar. I am going to show you my little DIY project I did the other week. It's the uh, sound blimp that um, I uh, have instructions for and uh, pictures of on my on my blog at dantabar.com. It is uh, built out of a pelican case, as you can see. I was inspired by another guy who did it out of a pelican case. I don't think he was the first, but he did a really good job of it, and I'll link to him. I forget his name right now, but I'll link to him uh, in this post. So, I was thinking, since it's a pelican case, uh, why not also keep it waterproof, you know, in the end? Uh, the original point of the sound limb is to just have it uh, soundproof so you can use it on uh, TV sets and sound stages and in concerts where the loud camera clicking, you know, going off uh, would actually uh, be a disturbance. So, uh, making the sound blimp first uh, was was my that was my first intention uh, to make that happen. But then I realized, you know, the camera could also be made completely waterproof in this uh, Pelican case. So. Uh, I uh, went ahead and did that, uh, took some extra steps to ensure that with uh, silicon sealant around all these uh, joints, put some um, Teflon tape here in the, in the uh, threads because uh, I still want to be able to unscrew this part and put an extension tube in here, which I'll show you guys later, and it works really well. Uh, there's silicon sealant all around these you know, Lexan parts, so I managed to actually keep it uh, waterproof, but I'll... Uh, test that today and uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, this is the way I hold it. I stick my hand through the handle here and just hold it. It doesn't look too comfy but it actually is not too bad. I added some padding right here. It's uh, this material called Sugru that I'll, it's a rubber compound. I'll, I'll make another post about that later. It's really good stuff. And uh, let me show you what the thing looks like on the inside. There's about there's my D800, and there's about uh, $4,000 worth of stuff in here. There's the D800 and the 85mm 1.4 Nikon lens, and uh, a wireless trigger. And I went with wireless because I didn't want to have to uh, seal up another hole and worry about the cable running through it, through the case. So I can wirelessly trigger it. So there's about $4,000 worth of stuff in here, and it's protected by $80 worth of DIY uh, project. Uh, all the components here are now more than 80 bucks that I built in about a day. So uh, we'll see today if, if it works or not. I mean, it's, uh, it's a pretty interesting experiment. So let me just, before I show you that, here's the trigger. The other trigger I just put in a Ziploc bag. I mean, this is not the ideal solution, but it'll work for our little test today. And... Uh, it's just in there and I press that guy in the case and camera takes a picture. So you see it in the in the viewfinder, L C D viewfinder right there. What we're taking pictures of. And it does the autofocus as well, since I can I can half press this button and it'll actually autofocus. And when I'm looking through the viewfinder, I can I can see what it's focusing on and uh just do the half press as usual and it'll it'll autofocus. We'll get some abstract photography. But so uh see how it goes. Let me show you again. Another little trick here, uh I realized that some people were commenting on mine and the other guy's uh solution here with the Pelican case for the sound blimp is that these snaps are really loud, right? If you ever need to get to your camera on a quiet sound stage, it's a bad idea to be making this much noise. People are going to give you some dirty looks, so and probably yell at you. There's several solutions. You can just snap one and and kind of shave off this little uh, hook here. That would make it quieter, but also less secure, and I don't like that. So I figured out there's a way to make this. Um, completely silent by just putting your finger under it and kind of squeezing it shut on top of it and it's completely silent. It doesn't even have to be that slow, you can just go boom, done. And uh, it makes it completely silent. Even lifting it up, if you just do it slowly, it barely makes any sound. So it's a solution to that problem. But anyway, just to recap, $4,000 worth of equipment. 
$80 worth of DIY. And the drink. Here's the trigger. And we'll see uh, how it goes. Okay, so this is how I hold it. And uh, just look through the viewfinder, like so. Use the trigger to focus, autofocus, and then fire. So, see the result? It's pretty good. Very handy. I mean, do uh, landscape, portrait, no problem. Landscape is very comfy. It's uh, supported by my arm like that. Uh, can't really complain about the usability and ergonomics of this thing. It's really nice. So, to recap, there's about $900 or $1,000 worth of sound blimp functionality here, plus, you know, $3,000 for the Icolite <laughs> waterproof case for a system camera. So, all in, you know, 80 bucks worth of DIY project that took me about a day to make. Not too bad. I would highly recommend it. It's a really fun thing to put together. And, uh, can't really complain. I mean, so far it's been great. I can't wait to take it snorkeling. You know, I don't know if I would take it scuba diving without a heck of a lot more, uh, you know, sealing it because of that extra pressure. I don't know how that's going to handle it. You know, it's, uh, I think the Pelican case is, it's, you know, it's rated to some standard IPX something or other, but I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, I think my ceiling is not IPX uh, 9 or something. It's, a, uh, I, it's certainly possible to add it up, but, you know, snorkeling, any kind of adverse, you know, this is also a tough case now. I mean, it's a, it is a Pelican case, so my camera is really well protected. You take this into a war zone and no dust or mud or anything is going to harm it. I mean, the camera itself is somewhat weather sealed, but you know, against uh, knocks and bumps and stuff and dust, really fine dust, amazing. I've I've heard of people having problems with the uh, you know the color run and uh, those holy festivals where they throw the powder all over the place. That a super fine colored powder getting into the camera and really gumming things up. This would uh, completely prevent that problem. So, can't really complain. Taking little pictures. Um, I would need goggles to actually see through this underwater, but it works great. The only other thing is the wireless trigger has an enormous range in air, but it's hundreds of feet, uh, hundreds of feet. This is about uh, one <laughs> foot underwater, which is not a problem. I just hold it close to the case and I can still trigger it to go like that. So let's see how that goes. Like a charm. So anyway, this is uh, Dan Tabar for DanTabar.com. I, uh, I sound like a news reporter, <laughs> but it's my website. So check it out. There's going to be more fun stuff like this on there, little projects, and uh, my photography, of course. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.